This is like, I think, the most fun home economics class you could probably have. It's Meat Science 2010. It's uh, barbecue science. It's what we like to call it. They're like, that's an actual class? And I'm like, yes. Yeah. I don't really know how to grill, so this is a good opportunity. People are usually very surprised and they think it's silly at first, but then when we explain you really like a tender, marbled piece of meat and you don't and you, all the meat science that's behind it, because that's part of our meat science curriculum, they, they see the value in it. Let's come on back here, we're gonna cut our meat. We teach them where the meat comes from on the animal and what that muscle does, and depending on what that muscle does could influence how tough or how tender it is. There's a definite science to it. I think, you know, it's a, it's a combination of things. It's knowing where that cut of meat has come from, where that muscle has come from, and how to prepare it, and uh, how you can best put together a good eating experience based off of your cooking methods and your temperatures. That's one of the things that's annoyed me forever, is uh, going to the grocery store and not knowing the difference between the types of steaks and things like that. It, it isn't so much about, did you make the perfect dish, but you know, if you burned it, learn from it. If, if it didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to, why do you think that is? What, can you, what experiences can you relate to what we talked about in class that help you understand that it didn't go well? And so apply that the next week. You know, We make them fill out grilling logs. Uh, on Tuesday, they battle plan for what they're gonna make on Thursday, and Thursday along the way, they do different things like, you know, lift, when, they, when you lift the lid on that, take the temperature of that meat. Where did it get to? You know, Did you expect it to be there? How much charcoal did you use? Good luck, here we go. All right, a lot of them don't know how to cook, for one thing. So I can't cook, <laughs> so I have to learn. <laughs> Usually I just stick to spaghetti. I mean, that's, that's what I can do. Finally, I get a class in college that teaches me how to be a good college student and maybe cook for myself occasionally. Uh, you can't know whether or not you did a good job in this class unless you eat your final product. <laughs> So if you like to Very good. hit the juices with bun, cut right away. Mm.